Hello and welcome. In the previous video, I set up one mesh and it would be a per perfectly reasonable question to ask, hey, um, why is this even a video? If we have one mesh and we bound that mesh with the binding operation, can't we just bind a whole bunch of meshes like this? And well, basically, yes, we can, but there's a little more to it. So this is an example that I set up where basically if we go to the scene. We have all of these types of meshes, squares, stars, and triangles, and they are all pretty much defined in the same way. By that, I mean, we have some data and we take that data and put it together. And we track that with a bunch of positions, a bunch of lists. Okay, fair enough. But the thing is, this is not really the Vulcan way. If we go to the engine and we look at record draw commands, what we're doing is we say, okay, bind the uh, triangle buffer and then go through and draw for all the triangle positions. Then we say, okay, now bind the square buffer and then bind the star buffer. And this is a little wasteful. So it's, it's not such a big deal at the moment. Three different vertex buffers, three binding calls, that's not big. But if we were working on a massive engine with a lot of different types of meshes, then each of these bind vertex buffers buffer, each of these bind vertex buffers calls would have some sort of overhead, which we wanna we wanna minimize that. So the purpose of this video is basically to refactor this and set it up so that we have a single large vertex buffer which stores all of the models and then we bind that once at the start and go through and draw um, based on the various sort of offsets and sizes so that's basically what we're going to do so to start with we'll just go to the config file and i want to declare i want to declare some types of meshes Okay, cool. So these types of meshes will be used to index uh, sort of sort of like an asset catalog, something that our game can see and our game engine can see. So we'll also go to model and create a new header file and I'm going to call this vertex menagerie. So when we get a bunch of textures and splat them together into a single larger texture, that's called an atlas, an atlas of textures. And I'm gonna call this a menagerie of vertex buffers. So we'll just go ahead and set this up. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. We basically are going to create this thing and then we're going to throw in a series of arrays for the data for the various um, uh, models that we want to draw, the various meshes. And then after we've thrown in all those arrays, we'll finalize it and this will actually allocate the vertex buffer. Now, in order to look these up at draw time, we're gonna need some sort of lookup scheme. We could use an array, that would work all right. In this case, I'm gonna go with an unordered map, which is basically like a dictionary, like a hash map. So, so I'll include that there and then we'll use these over here. Okay, yeah, so we're going to store all the data in this uh, lump of data, and that's what we'll be working with. Okay, great. So now let's fire up 
the source code for this. Okay, so the constructor will be very simple. All we're going to do is initialize the counter. Initialize the counter to zero. This counter will basically track um, how many points have been thrown in at any stage. So we can save that information in the dictionaries. There we have it, cool. So we grab, or we are given an array of data. So we look through the data, throw everything onto our lump. Then we get the number of points in that data divided by five, because we're gonna use five numbers per vertex, the X and Y plus the RGB. Then we insert the current value of the counter. That's where the, the location where this is going to begin within the lump and then we insert the vertex count so that, again, given this type, we know how many vertices we should draw. And then we progress our counter. Awesome. So um, there's two more functions. That is finalize and uh, deletion. And those are actually the same sort of functions that we would have over here. So if we just grab this one. So there we have it, same sort of stuff. Now, um, the only difference, I guess, is this is lump, not vertices. So we store the logical device for deletion later, and then we send the data from our lump over to the vertex buffer. We create the vertex buffer, we send the data. Then upon deletion, perform the same routine, destroy the buffer, free the memory. So now instead of having three different buffers, we're going to grab one buffer and send all the data in there. This is looking all right. Okay, um, so I'll just clear this off and we'll go to the engine and then up above, we've got all these different things. I'm going to import yeah, the vertex menagerie, there we have it, and then down below, we will just have the set of meshes. Okay, so that is looking all right. Now we'll just go to the source code and it's gonna complain in a few different places, but we'll just go to the cleanup and delete the set of meshes. And then we'll go up to the point where we are creating the assets and make that. All right, so now we need to basically make everything. So I'll just bring this up. We have the triangle mesh, square mesh, and star mesh. Okay, so I need to grab that data. So we'll grab the, yep, we have the vertices, and then, uh, what was it, uh, mesh type. Set that to triangle. Then we'll create that. Okay, so don't worry about the triangle, that's done. Um, then we'll do the same thing with the square mesh. And then we'll do the same thing with the star mesh. This one's pretty big. This is a, I coded this one by hand, which is why the stars look so bad. But uh, there we have it. That's a mess. Okay, so go um, mesh, uh, sorry, uh, type is star. Okay, cool. And in between each time, we're going to send that data over. So we'll go to the uh, meshes and we'll consume that. 
and yeah, I mean, it is it is a little dodgy, I guess, that I'm sending in a full um, a full vertex, uh, sorry, a full vector rather than a reference to a vector, but it's okay. I mean, this is being done in creation time, not in real time, so I'm happy to work with that. Okay, cool. So we set that up. Now all we need to do is finalize the meshes. A physical device. Okay, good. Good. All right. Um, yeah, the meshes buffer, and that'll bind that just fine. Alrighty. So here we're binding a whole bunch of different things. Fair enough. I want to work out. Oh, oh, what am I even thinking? I don't need to bind any of this. That's fine. That gets bound in this call up above. So now we have all the vertex data and all we need to do before we draw is select the offset and the vertex count to draw with. So the way we do that is we look up based on the key. So go. Look into the offsets, and then it's find um, for the triangle. And then the first element there will be, whoops, the first element there will be the triangle code again, and the second element will be the beginning of the data. Ah, oh, what? Uh, let's go first vertex. And vertex count will be from the sizes. Okay, good. Ah, uh, whoops. <laughs> okay, so then when we go to draw this, we'll have vertex count, and then first vertex. Good, now we copy paste this for uh, pretty much all of them. Okay, and then Run this search again to get the different offsets and sizes. Good, so we have that for the square. And. Okay, cool. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So, see, now instead of binding, now instead of having three vertex buffers and running three binding calls, we just have the one. It does everything and we just query the um, offsets and sizes. So it won't be a dramatic difference. I think we were on about 3,500 was about the lowest I was seeing a second ago. Hope there's no errors. There's probably errors. Yeah, there's errors. What do we have? Uh, vertices. Engine. Oh yeah, probably. What have I done? Yeah, I'm just. There we have it. Okay. So, like I said, it's not a dramatic difference. It sort of starts out strong, then dips down to about the same performance as before. But I'm sure you can imagine that this is a technique which will scale a lot better. I mean, yeah. Anyway, it's more volcanic. That's that's the way to do it. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, um, hopefully you enjoy that. And, yep, have fun. I'll see you again soon. Bye.